Well, imagine showing up for your next flight at the airport and being handed a device, a little uh, bracelet, that would serve as your boarding pass. It would track your lost luggage. And it would also shock you with the same power as a taser if you get out of line. Well, a top official with the Department of Homeland Security has expressed interest in these so-called safety bracelets. So is this really the future of air travel? And will passengers accept it? Neil Livingston is a terrorism expert and also the CEO of Executive Action. Hi, Neil. How are you this morning? I'm well, thanks. So uh, this is a, a buzz on the blogosphere right now, uh, whether this is going to happen and when. Turns out DHS, Department of Homeland Security, did express interest in this product in 2006. Uh, not clear, however, whether this is something they're still interested in. But is it possible, Neil? Could we get to the point in air travel where we have to put on a bracelet where the stewardess can shock us if we get out of line? Well, I don't think that element of the shock part of the bracelet is going to be adopted, but I do think that there is uh, some truth in this story. The uh, uh, Department of Homeland Security and our aviation security people are looking for better ways of tracking luggage and passengers at an airport. And uh, what you may get is an RFID chip put into your ticket or maybe into a bracelet that you wear in the airport so that they can track you. It would also certain areas of the airport and set off an alarm if you went into an area that you shouldn't. But the good news is it also might, if uh, we start tracking luggage that way, it might mean a lot less lost luggage. All right, I like the lost luggage part of it, but you're going to have the ACLU go nuts if people are required to wear a tracking bracelet just to board uh, a, an aircraft. Well, look, first of all, flying is not a right. It is a privilege. And uh, so that's why we have the security that we have in airports today, and that's why you have to comply with it. And so ultimately, if we can find some way of doing this in a, an appropriate way, and this is kind of an exaggerated story. Uh, um, uh, yes, they did express an interest in this, uh, apparently had a meeting with this one individual who has this one device. But uh, if they ultimately ever do this, it's going to be quite different than what we're talking about today. And we may see, actually, these kinds of devices put on uh, felons uh, in order to get parole, uh, people that are uh, pedophiles so that they, uh, it sets off an alarm if they get too close to a school. Uh, we may uh, uh, see all sorts of applications of this down the road. Now, that doesn't sound too bad. I mean, you've got somebody who's, who's literally under suspicion or having been convicted of, dunning, of dun, doing something illegal. That's one thing. You've just got people who are trying to get from Chicago to New York. It seems like it's another. But, you know, in a post-9-11 world, who's to say? Let, let me ask you, Neil, how would it work? So you get your little bracelet uh, and you get out of line. How do they go about picking you and knowing which bracelet to shock, if you know? Well, again, I don't think there's going to be a shock element on it. I think that's going too far. But what they will be able to do is, let's say that uh, they need to find you, and it may be just because you've fallen asleep and missed your flight. You always hear that uh, paging in the airport for Mr. So-and-so, please come to your gate right now or we'll have to take off your luggage. Well, that's very inconvenient. It screws up security and so on. And what they will be able to do is isolate where you are in the airport simply by you'll have a blip on the screen and uh, there'll be a number attached to it that corresponds to whatever is in your uh, uh, your uh, bracelet or in your mm. uh, ticket, and they'll be able to go find you. Well, it looks like, as you say, DHS will not uh, purchase the bracelet for now, but when they expressed interest in it, let's make clear, they said we're interested in the immobilizing security bracelet and look forward to receiving a written proposal. They were looking for the, for the stunner, one that can completely immobilize you for several minutes. However, they say now they've decided against it. So exactly. we'll see uh, whether it comes back into the bloodstream. Neil, thanks so much for your insights on it.